Oh, on the cafe this morning is Martin Cooper, Managing Director of Harcourt's Cooper & Company. Welcome, Martin. Good morning. Good to be here. Did you have a good long weekend? Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Lot, nice. Not, no, be lot, not long enough, but <laughs> they, never are. <laughs> they never <laughs> are. Uh, so you're going to talk today about home staging and if it actually works. Is it, is it something that we should be looking at doing? Well, when you're putting a home on the market, staging your home, people buy home, they say, oh, it just felt right yeah. or it looked right. So, a bit like Mike, remember when you were dating? <laughs> yes. Yes, a long while ago. But, yeah, true. You know, you're going out on a date, yeah. you dress up, yes. you look good, you yeah. want to make a good impression. Same with your home or, you know, or, or a car. You know, if you're selling a car, you groom it. Yeah, you do. A make property. it look as good as it can. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yes, you say you should home stage. Should I look Absolutely. at doing it myself? Well, you can try that, but by the time you buy all the stuff and figure out the colours, let the professionals do it, I would recommend. Okay, so bottom line is, if you spend the money on the professionals, you might get a better return on the house price. Is that what you're trying to tell us? I'm sure you do. Okay, because nice. people, it just, it's got the look about it. They emotionally attach to it. They think, I want to be here. And that's what you want to do. You want yeah. to get them to emotionally connect. We've got a couple of before and afters, haven't we, right here? Okay, so let's have a look at these. Okay, before, yeah, it's a room, whatever. Yeah. Got windows. Oh, oh I see. Now I can see myself living there. I like that. And this here, obviously, a big empty space, which people would enjoy, but then you put something in it, all of a sudden it becomes a more livable space, doesn't wow. it? They can see themselves sitting there in the evenings enjoying that living room. But it's not full of all of your rubbish and your piles of bills and paper <laughs> and everything. Uh, can you use your own furniture if you're getting some staging done? Oh, yeah, the home staging companies will um, look at your own furniture, select the pieces that are good, and they'll, they'll complement it with uh, other pieces. So, I imagine yep. that they'd be quite awkward if they're going through going, no, 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 oh, yeah, that rug's okay, no, no. No, you're in the house. Yeah, my well, house. you can be a bit sensitive because something you love may not be everyone else's <laughs> choice. Yes. And I guess the other thing too is that you get the sizing right. So you know you don't want to put a huge king bed in a small double bedroom, otherwise it makes the room look smaller. So if you spend the money on a stager, they're going to get all that right, which is going to obviously give you a bit more space when they walk into that room. They'll feel that they want to buy the house. The big question, though, Martin. The big question is how much does this usually cost? Well, Auckland prices, um, there's, there's a company, the company Living Edge, they provided the images for us. They, they are two, two and a half grand for a three or four week program. So if you figure out going and gathering that stuff, buying that stuff, it, it's way cheaper to get the professionals in. Does this only work if you're not living in the house at the time? Because I'm thinking surely you can't no, be sleeping no, on the staged can. beds and things? No, you can live in the house. In fact, sometimes I get a bit of anxiety because when the home's staged up, the seller says, no, this is looking so good. I don't want to stay. I think I might, I might stay. <laughs> so uh, just remember, yeah, if you're staging your home, you're still on the market, OK? Because we, we want to sell it for you. But, yeah. OK, what would be your best tips to get the best service? Because you're a man in the know. You've seen a lot of this go on. So what would you say to people watching right now? Okay. If they're going to stage their house, what would be your best tips to get the best service? Well, I find that get a good agent who's doing a volume of business because they're staging their homes all the time. And they know the good suppliers. They know who delivers. Because companies have got to be on trend, the right colour palette. Yeah. And also, they've got to have the availability of stuff to put in yep. your house. So the agent, they can say, that company's good, that one's good, they can refer, get a referral. And also check out the website, see what the customers are saying about them. So you want to get the best home staging you can to get the best price from the market. Yeah, there you go. Do your research too. Nice Thanks. work. And just like Martin, well staged in your clothing department all the time, Martin. And you can see it adds value. It adds value to your appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Great to have you on the cafe. We will see you again next week.